Hello friends, welcome back to Java 8 interview questions. In this video, we'll talk about filter function of the stream API. All right, so let's begin the video. Now let's first understand what is a filter. So if you look at it here, right? For example, you think of like I have got here a stream of integer elements and I want to filter out the numbers which are greater than 100. So right, so here I will pass a condition, right? Okay, you check each element. If element is greater than 100, pass that particular element. Okay, else skip that particular number or the element. So in filter function to pass that particular condition, here we have passed, go and check for a condition that whether the number is greater than 100 or not. So to pass that particular condition in filter function, we use something called predicate. Now, what is a predicate? Predicate is a functional interface in Java. So wherever you need to check a condition and if you're expecting either true or false, as a result, you can use predicate, okay? So here in Java stream API, filter function takes predicate as an input argument. Filter function is a intermediate or a non-terminal operation. It takes a stream as an input and it produces filtered stream as a result of. Then you can apply next set of operations on the filtered stream like function one, function two, function three and so on. Filter, the filter method accepts a predicate. Predicate is a predefined functional interface in Java. Filter function, it takes predicate to filter out the elements. Filter is intermediate operation. It means that you can apply because if it is an intermediate operation, it will give you another stream as a result so that you can call another function. All right. Questions, is it a terminal operation? Just now I told you it is a non-terminal operation. It means that the result is going to be a filtered stream. Okay. It is a non-terminal operation or intermediate operation. Can I apply any other function after applying filter? Yes, you can. Why? Because filter is a intermediate operation and it produces, it gives filtered stream. So basically it gives another stream as a result. So you can call any function on that particular filtered stream. Next, can I apply multiple filter function to an stream? The answer is yes, you can call multiple filter functions on a stream and I will explain this point in the demo section. All right, so let me open the IDE and let me give you some examples. Let's have a look how it really works. All right, here we are. I'm going to create a class and class, let me call it as today we are talking about filter, right? So let's talk about filter example, simple. Okay, before we go and talk about, let's go and create a class called say product and say for example product has a product id right and what do i have for example there is a name and say price i think enough for now let's go and create a constructor using fields okay and we'll also have the two string function cool right now let's come back here how do you create let's go and have a list product let's call it a list only new array list list of products let's import java.util.list java.util.array list okay now we need to add some items to list like how will you add list dot add okay let's add some products new product so first argument is product id name uh, for example here we are talking about cricket products for example cricket bat 5500 similarly i will just copy paste and create few more products product 2 let's call it a ball price let's say 1500 item helmet is very important so we have got enough products in our list right now let's talk about filter for example there is a requirement can you please filter out all the elements where price is greater than 5000 all right, now let's go and write some code list dot stream. So we are converting our list into a stream dot. Let's go and apply the function called filter. What do you see? So filter takes predicate as a input argument. Okay, you can pass a condition here, right? So what do I have? I have a product. I need to apply a logic on product price. What is my condition? I need to filter out the products where the price is greater than 5000. Okay, now let's print for now. I'm just going to print the items, right? So item dot out colon colon. I hope you guys remember by now what is the colon colon operator. So this double colon operator is also known as method reference. Okay, now let's run this one. 
what do you see so basically you have two products where price is greater than 5000 right so let's understand this one you have got your list of products you have converted your list into a stream and then you applied a filter filter if i let's go have a look here filter it takes a predicate as an input argument okay filter and then filter out and then we simply printed each single element here now let's have a one more example let's say for example you want to filter where product name starts with say for example b i just want to print out or list out all the elements where product name starts with b okay so what i will do list dot stream i'll again convert our list into a stream i will use the filter function now here is my product right and what do i want product dot name dot starts with a dot i will use for each to print right so if you look at it here for each function it takes a consumer it takes a consumer as an input so what is a consumer consumer it just takes an element input value and it simply consumes it system dot out dot print ln okay so what is happening here is we have a list we have applied our filter here we have supplied a predicate what is my predicate is doing it will take the product so basically it will take the one object right and then it will take the price from that particular object right sorry name of that particular object and then it will check whether the name is starts with a or not b or not if it is then print the value so for each is a function let me just run this one so basically there are two products where product name starts with b correct so this is how you can apply a filter so basically the important thing which you need to keep in mind is that filter takes a predicate so predicate is very important now let me do one thing let's talk about can i apply multiple filters okay i will take list will convert into a stream let's apply our first filter what is your first filter let's copy this one as it is first of all i want to filter out the products where price is greater than 5000 and then and then i want to call another filter function where the product name starts with b right and then print for each system dot out print ln done so what is happening here list i have my stream we have applied a one filter function to filter out the elements where price is greater than 5000 and then another filter function to find out where the product name is starts with b okay see the result so here is your result if you see product price is greater than 5000 and product name starts with b correct so basically the answer is yes you can apply multiple filters all right in all our examples we are using for each to print the values but what if, if i have to collect for example can you give me a list of say list of products where price is greater than 2000 let's go list dot stream then i'll apply a filter where p dot price is greater than 2000 then dot so this time i don't want to print what i want i want to collect i want to collect the result so that you can do that by using collector collect is a function and then what i'm using is collectors collectors dot collectors dot to list is a function so it will collect all the elements into a list right so here let's go and create a list here list list of products let's call it some list equals to like this so what do you have here so what we did here is we have our risk uh, we have here our stream we applied a filter function to it and then we have used the collect function so collect is basically a function that is helps you in collecting the result it is also known as a reduction operation okay and then we have used collectors dot to list function which will generate a list of so here is my sum list now let me just print this sum list dot for each colon colon print ln okay so what i am expecting in a result is all the elements where price is greater than 2000 so there are three elements so if you go to the list there are three elements one two and three elements where price is greater than 2000 okay so basically i just want to give you a quick understanding that there is something function called collect that you can use to collect the result it is not always that you need to simply go and print all right so all right guys here we are done with this video 
if you think you need more clarification you can just let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel